Hey, Juvenile back with more Portal. So, let's just do a quick recap of what happened in the uh, last test chamber. Um, we were going, we were riding on our little, uh, little, I don't even know what you want to call it, little uh, platform thing, and we were like, Hey, GLaDOS, I want some cake. And she was like, I don't think so. So, she tried to make you kill yourself, but you didn't kill yourself because you're not stupid. And now you're making your grand escape from Aperture Science. So, how do you do it? Well, now you're kind of in like, there's no, well, there is a set way to go, but it's just, you're trying to figure it out all by your lonesome. There's no, um, like, uh, how, how would I describe this? There's no, um, set path like the test chamber, so you're kind of, but there is, kind of, but there's not. I don't know how to describe it. You'll see. Um, kind of doing your own thing out here. So, just follow everything that I do on the screen and you'll make your way out. This is probably the most difficult part of the whole game right here, is trying to find your way out of this uh, Aperture Science place. Because um, it is very complicated and there are some rooms like this where it's like, well there's a bunch of walls where you can shoot stuff at, but there's only a couple necessary places to go. That door's locked. Um, that room seems very nice and it seems just out of place in this falling down, toxic, waste-ridden facility. Um, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, I'm just kind of looking around, I'm examining my surroundings, making sure I know exactly where to go. And right now, the exact place that I need to go is right around there, because that will allow me to drop down onto the other um, little ledge there, little walkway, into the room that I was talking about just a few moments ago. Pretty awesome. Um, walking through here. Hey, I remember that. Wasn't that the test chamber that they said was impossible? Yeah. Okay. Somebody watching me? What other reason would there be a chair? Would there be for a chair to be right there? I think someone was watching me. That's a little creepy. I remember that test chamber. I was in there. I was just in there a few minutes ago. Those things were going up and down. Black Mesa. Okay, Black Mesa is, uh, that's a uh, reference to, um, Half-Life 2. And Half-Life, for that matter. Because, um, this is all, like, Valve. Really, Valve made this all this stuff, and Valve's an awesome company. They made, you know, like, the Half-Lifes and the Counter-Strikes and this and that and the other thing. So, uh, um, Half-Life is awesome. I might do a commentary on that, because that is one of my all-time favorite games. It's so cool. Gordon Freeman is a beast. I, there's just no other way to describe it. He's such a beast. And uh, Half-Life 2 is really fun. It's, it's so cool. It's kind of like a puzzle combined with a first-person shooter game combined with just an awesome story. It's such a cool game. It's one of the best I've ever played in my life. Um, that, Oblivion. Oblivion's really good. Speaking of Oblivion, I'm going to do some advertising here. I'm going to toss in a little plug for my uh, my friend. Um, if you're watching this, go to uh, type in on your little search bar there, Blitzkrieg1012. Um, watch his Oblivion walkthrough. Even if you don't like Oblivion, even if you hate it, it's your least favorite game on Earth, it's funny. Just... Well, at least watch the first episode. I don't, I don't know how many views it's got now, but it's got a, it's got a relatively high amount. I mean, not like 12 million, but it's got in the tens of thousands, and it's really funny. It's it's just funny. So watch it. And uh, I'm probably going to do a Fallout commentary. That's my game. I, I love Oblivion, but I really love um, Fallout. Actually, I probably... I don't know. I don't know which one I like better. Probably Oblivion. But, um, Fallout, I, I don't know, I love Fallout. So, uh, remember the first time we were in here, um, we didn't have both portal guns. So, uh, now we do. And, oh, this, I guess this is what's under that elevator that we've been in 400,000 times. Um, that robot, Gladys, she's gonna keep talking to you, trying to convince you not to do what you're doing. I wouldn't listen to her, personally. It's just my personal opinion, is don't listen to her. But you can do what you want. You can turn off your Xbox right now and not continue on with the game. Um, but uh, I'm going to keep going. Um, 
And that thing is probably not good. Don't let that thing kill you. Um, <sighs> wandering around. What else should I talk about? I don't know what to talk about. When uh, when I was doing, where when my friend was doing that Oblivion walkthrough, um, I was sitting in the room with him. And at this point in time during commentary, when he kind of ran out of some stuff to talk about, because right now, what am I going to talk about? Like that thing moving back and forth. I mean, come on now. Oh, that's a drawing. Follow those arrows, by the way. Someone was obviously here before you that found what you're trying to find, and they left you some clues along the way. They were like, "Hey, go this way." Um, <coughs> anyway, what I was talking about, um, my friend was doing the Oblivion walkthrough, and at about this point, when he kind of started running out of things to talk about, I happened to be in the same room with him, and he kind of started talking to me, and some of the conversations between us, because I was playing PS3, he hates PS3 with a burning passion, um, he was yelling at me, he made me sad, I was playing Uncharted, Uncharted's really cool, by the way, um, he wanted me to play Dragon Age Origins, which is also a pretty cool game, but you know, it was, it was good, it was cool. But I, I couldn't have played it as many times over as I played Oblivion and Fallout. Um, to me, anyway, or for Half-Life for that matter, um, to me the replay values of those games are so much higher than uh, that of Dragon Age. But he disagrees. He loves Dragon Age. He's played it over hunt the, so many times. Um, anyway, um, those are large cylinder things that look like they're going to kill you, except they're extremely slow moving. Um, so, uh, let's get, let's get a little higher, shall we? Um, hop on this thing. Be like, yo, what's up? He, okay. So, um, where'd it go? Well, well, there's that room. I can go in there, I guess. Um, that looks like a ladder that used to be there, but it's not anymore. Um, oh, okay. But, I ultimately choose to go in that room because, well, that's the correct way to go, most likely. Um, I'm going to keep going. Keep chugging along. So, um, not to sound like another YouTube, you know, subscribe, subscription whore, but, uh, you know, it's the subscription or the view or the like or any, you know, signification, sig I lost my train of thought. Um, anything that you can leave that will, um, you know, show me that you watched it, that, that makes that makes the commentator feel good, especially since I've been sitting here talking about Portal for, like, an hour or something like that now. You know? Makes me feel good. Whoa, I just got flung in a direction that I'm not sure of because I fell down and I was still looking up, which is not cool. So, um, oh, what to talk about? What should I talk about? I'm hungry. I don't know what's for dinner tonight. Guys, what should I make for dinner? Tell me something good. Don't give me some, some stupid, uh, some stupid remark. Tell me some good. Tell me something like Wendy's or Domino's or we got some good local restaurants around here that you guys wouldn't have heard of. Uh, well, anyway. So. So Portal 2. I'm hoping that it will be like 400 times better than this because this game is was pretty cool. It's it's really um, it's just a, a cool game. There's no reason in particular that it's that cool, but it's it's just cool. So I'm hoping uh, when they 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 uh, they announced it at E3 a while ago, and uh, they had some uh, some videos for it, and it looks pretty cool. Oh, by the way, this um this walkthrough commentary thing carries over through all the different uh, consoles. And I wasn't watching my time, so now you're just watching a black screen, so uh, I'll see you next time.